search my heart search my heart oh god search my heart and try my thoughts and see if there is any evil way then lead me to the way everlasting in the name of jesus separate my heart from material wealth separate my heart from fame separate my heart from the desire for increase as against my love for god these things are wonderful but i pray that a circumcision happens in my heart is someone praying right now let there be a divine supernatural circumcision in the name of jesus purify my motive circumcise my heart all the cares of this life that keep motivating me to do spiritual activities but not motivated by my love for Jesus let it be pruned oh God edit my passion let Jesus be restored to my life as the epicenter the motivation for ministry the motivation for impact the motivation for prayer the motivation for fasting more than the desire to be famous more than the desire to be wealthy more than the desire to make or preserve a name more than the desire to have reputation someone is praying that forever our lives will be pruned and motivated by this singular desire that we love Jesus we love Jesus hallelujah final prayer point for tonight and I want you to pray this with all your heart I like us to pray and resist the pressure of walking in the flesh especially in this end time holy spirit i restore your leadership to my life i decree and declare that once again your voice will become the principal um, motivation for my direction you are my shepherd i may have ignored you as my shepherd but i call you again willingly consciously deliberately shepherd of my life shepherd of my destiny shepherd of this church shepherd of this ministry shepherd of your prayer group shepherd of your business shepherd of nigeria oh pray for nigeria in the name of jesus based on the prophetic unfoldings in this nation spirit of the living god we pray we restore the ministry of the spirit lead us as individuals as corporations as ministries as families as men and women of god as business people may we value the excellency of the leadership of the holy spirit we follow you jesus we follow you jesus if you lead to the left to the left we go if you lead to the right to the right we go if you say stand still we stand still if you say run we run we depend on your voice we depend on your leadership we take up the cross and we follow you in the name of Jesus father I pray for the body of Christ Lord I pray particularly for our precious generation we thank you for stretching your hand so mighty upon us thank you for the apostolic across Nigeria Africa and the world thank you for the prophetic thank you for the evangelistic thank you for entrepreneurs Lord, you have raised this generation. You have granted us access to high level, never seen before dimensions of spiritual illumination. You have given us the eyes to be able to see the mistakes of the generations past, to see the scars even of the fathers. And Lord, you have granted us the stamina, the discipline and the grace to make adjustments. And now you have 
brought, brought out of us a dexterous generation in the similitude of the rich young ruler man of speed man of might man of wisdom man of understanding man of skill men who are even eternity driven but lord i pray like you have revealed to us tonight this one thing that we still lack this one thing that we still lack that desire to love you sincerely the desire to live our lives and be motivated by the desire to see you glorified and the desire to love humanity and to extend our life to impact someone one life and one destiny at a time we pray that this one thing we lack by the help of the spirit may our generation not miss it lord we thank you for the fathers who have mentored us and continue to mentor us we thank you for the saints and the patriarchs dead and alive men who have opened up their scars and their wounds we have seen their mistakes we have seen their shortcomings you have granted us the grace to climb upon their sacrifices to where we are today we stand before you jesus like the rich young ruler and we confess that there is this one thing that we lack our heart condition alongside our desire to submit to the leadership of the holy spirit we repent oh god as a generation we repent as a people we repent as men of god we repent as business people we repent as kingdom leaders we repent and we cry and ask you by your mercies by the covenant of eternal mercy that you had with david in the name of jesus we pray show our generation mercy may we not miss it in the name of jesus and lord i pray for every man of God, every woman of God, every captain of industry, politician, a person of influence, I pray in the name that is above all names, grant us a grace to be able to fulfill that which you mandated the rich young ruler to do. What he could not do, may our generation do. We declare afresh our love for you, Jesus. We declare before the nations, from Nigeria to the ends of the earth, across Africa, Europe, the United States, and all the other continents, we declare that we are a people who are motivated by our love for you. We declare that we are a people who truly desire the entire scope of our lives and our pursuit is to see Jesus glorified. And then, oh God, we declare that we love the brethren we declare that we love the body of christ we declare that we love this nation we declare that we love africa we declare that we love the world and lord we obtain grace from you to spend our lives impacting lives becoming voices of hope voices of healing voices of deliverance voices of prophecy voices of salvation in the name of jesus thank you for tonight for in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray and i declare over you you are blessed by the power that raised christ from the dead every key of the kingdom that you need to access to rise to the position of rest round about i declare your eyes find access to that light hear me for anyone here who is still suffering spiritual bankruptcy, financial bankruptcy, you have not yet learned the ways of the spirit. You have not yet mastered the laws of life that elevate men to positions of value and relevance. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that the same grace that raised that young man to become a rich young ruler, may that same grace open you up to the keys of the kingdom. And for those that God has helped to attain unto a position of stature and grace, commanding fearful results already across the nation, I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will seek Jesus like the rich young ruler sought him. And that when you find him, the final prayer, I pray for those who have found him, 
and value his presence so much that you will not waste your time and the value of his presence but that you will allow his presence to change your heart you will allow his presence to cultivate within you the desire to submit to the ministry of the Holy Spirit I bless you and I declare that this week for you is a week of blessings it's a week of recovery it's a week of increase it's a week of enlargement in the name of Jesus because your heart is stayed upon the Lord may he open to you the treasures of greatness may he open your ears and your eyes to see and hear in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you with the blessings of heaven may the blessings speak over your life I pray for your prayer life greater fire I pray for your word life greater fire I pray for your passion for the things of God greater fire but I pray that your motivation will ever be Jesus and nothing less nothing more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and everything you desire to see God do in your life this week I release my faith with you return with testimonies for in the mighty the matchless and the blessed name of Jesus we pray together let's share the grace in fellowship thank you for your patience the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen